Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a glitter eye tutorial. Quite recently, over the past sort of month, I have literally been obsessed with doing glitter on my eye and adding it to my eyeshadow. I've always been quite into eyeshadow since, I don't know, about three, four years ago, I've just been obsessed with using different coloured eyeshadows. I like the fact that you can use any eyeshadow you want and you can change the whole look using different colours and textures and finishes and everything. Like, I just love the whole thing. I'm addicted to eyeshadow palettes. I cannot, you know, there's no limit to how many eyeshadow palettes I can have. I will always be able to use them all. So I thought today I would use some of my palettes. You know, some of them are older, some of them I've had for years, and some of them are a lot newer. And I thought I would create a glitter eye tutorial for you. If you want to recreate this, you can use any sort of colours that you want. I just like to mix and match. And I haven't done this before. I actually haven't done this kind of colour combination before. And I think that's really what's fun about makeup is that I will literally just sit down and I won't have a clue what I'm going to do and I just mix random colours together and see what happens and sometimes it turns out really good and sometimes not so great. I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out and how this looks. So I'm going to kind of talk you through how I applied it, what I applied first and I thought that what I would do is kind of talk you through the palettes and the shades and then put an overlay clip of me applying it on it just so that we kind of get through the video a little bit quicker and we're not rambling too much um but anyway let's get into the video also i just wanted to mention in this video this headband is on my website i sell my own products on my website which is freshfaceskincare.shop so go and check that out if you're interested in this nice little headband that i've got here i literally use it for skincare for makeup everything like that so just thought i'd let you know my website is linked in the description if you are interested oh and please subscribe if you would like to see more makeup content on this channel and anything else so first of all um before i did anything i did my brows and i added a little bit of concealer as like a base shade and first of all i went in with quite a powerful color so i used this palette here which is quite old i've had this for a long time this is the revolution reloaded passion for color palette i don't know if this is still available it is quite old i have had it for years but i really love this palette and there's two particular shades that i love and it's the matte shades these two here so i actually get first of all going with this orangey shade here and i kind of go all over the lid and i just apply it into the crease and i blend it up so it's kind of like that shade that's all over my eyelid and up into the crease and further and buffing it out and i really like that shade that would look quite nice on its own and then in the crease i do add this kind of ready shade here it's a little bit more darker a little bit more deeper and i really like that shade i think it just kind of adds a little bit more of a smoky effect to the eye and it just i think that just suits me i just really like that color i think it looks really nice on blue eyes but i think it might look quite nice on brown eyes as well but i really like that shade it's one of my favorite shades in all of my palettes that i've got so i do often come to this palette just for those sort of two shades that I've just used. So that's kind of like the base done. And the brush that I use is this one. It's from B. Um, it's in Superdrug anyway. Um, it's my blending brush. I'm obsessed with this brush. I love it so much. It's probably my favorite brush that I own. It blends everything in so nicely and it's really, really super soft. And it's just like the best blending brush that you could ever have. So I would recommend a trip to Superdrug to have a look for that. Then I have the next palette that I go into, which is also from Revolution. I have a lot of palettes from Revolution. They do some great eyeshadows and the quality are actually really, really good for the price. So this is a recent addition to my collection. My friend Steph got me this for Christmas thank you Steph and yeah I asked for it because she always asks me oh Georgia what do you want and I always um say and it does usually involve an eyeshadow palette of some kind or at least makeup and this is anyway the revolution foil frenzy creation intensely pigmented foil shadow palette so i thought looking in the shop you know what do i have what don't i have what do i want you know i've got loads of matte shades i've got loads of shimmers but this is actually like a step up from a shimmer it's not an eyeshadow that you can like dip a fluffy brush into it you have to have like either your finger or a flat brush and they, they are foiled and basically the pigmentation is so intense it's so strong and it just makes your eyes look so nice and glimmery and shimmery and i think this is the perfect base before we go in with the glitter so i only used one shade from this palette and i used this golden shade here in the corner really really like that i think i used that on christmas day as well like it's one of those shades that's just 
so nice for every single day. Um, they obviously have loads of different shades in this palette and you can just use any of them. And I really, really like this. Even without the glitter, I use this palette a lot. It's something I do reach for daily and it is a solid 10 out of 10. It's just one of those palettes that it's like, you won't find these eyeshadows in normal eyeshadow palettes, like the quality and the um, finish to them is a lot different to other ones. So it's definitely worth buying if you're into your eyeshadows. The brush that I use to apply this is this one from The Body Shop. It is just a flat brush. Really like this one. Sometimes I don't wanna apply stuff with my fingers and I actually can't because I've got these nails on. Just end up poking myself in the eye basically. And I, first of all, moisten that. Very interesting, moisten. With the Body Shop Makeup Setting Spray and this is it here. I actually don't like this setting spray over my face it actually makes my face quite shiny and because i've got oily skin that's not something i want if you've got dry skin maybe that's something for you but it's just not my personal taste but anyway i spray this onto the brush and it just gives the eyeshadows a little bit more pigmentation when you apply it then i go into the main event the actual glitter part of the look i have this palette here it was actually really really cheap off amazon i think it was like eight pounds or less or something like that but it's the beauty glazed pressed glitter eyeshadows there is 15 ultra pigmented glitter shadows in here so it does come with quite a lot and it's just such an array of colors like you've got so much that you can play with here so many different like eyeshadow looks that you can do and it's again one of those palettes that's nice to have in your collection because it's just something that you can mix with any other eyeshadow palette. So you can do a really nice kind of smoky eye or you can do a really nice cut crease and then just add a little bit of glitter on with one of these shades. I love this palette. When I'm going on a night out, I always use glitter. Even during the day, I use glitter nowadays. But this palette, I love it and I would highly recommend it. And it's a really, really decent price. So for this palette, I went in with a shade that I hadn't used before because I wanted to try something a little bit new. I was debating whether to go for this one at the top, which was kind of like a goldeny color, but I decided against that. And I decided to use this kind of more orangey warm tone because I thought it would go with the matte eyeshadows that we used at the start. So I went in with that one. Really, really love that. I think it looks quite nice. It's just like a coppery kind of shimmery color. And yeah, I was really happy with that. So I went in with that on the same brush that I used to apply the other eyeshadow. It is easy to apply them. The reason why I don't do my foundation or my base before I apply my eyeshadow is because the fallout of this palette is crazy. Like this is where the cheapness comes in is the fact that you will get glitter down your face for sure. So do not do your base before you use this. Otherwise you are gonna not be able to wipe this off. Cause if you're trying to scrub glitter off your foundation you will be pulling off your foundation and that is not what you want when you spend time doing it so that's just a little tip from me then what i did is i just went away i finished off the rest of my makeup so i just did my base and everything powdered bronzer blusher highlighter etc and lips i came back and i went in with the palette that i used first so the revolution reloaded passion for color palette and i mixed those two matte shades together so the orange and the kind of more warm toned kind of red color and i just took that on the outer corner of my eye i never use shimmers on the lower lash line i always use matte shades i just think that's what looks best for me anyway personally but i did use a shimmer in the inner corner i went in with my sleek face form contouring and blush palette in the shade fair three Seven, two. and I just use the highlighter shade in the middle to highlight me in a corner I don't tend to use this as a highlighter as such I tend to just use it as like an inner corner highlighter because it is really pigmented really bright and I do really like that so that's a nice inner corner highlight shade that I use there and the brush that I use to do my lower lash line is this one from Urban Decay I took this um, end here it's quite flat and nice and I used it underneath my lash line to apply the eyeshadows and then for the inner corner like more of a little kind of angled tapered brush as well just to get in there and also my brow bone as well I highlighted that so that is what I've done that was the eyeshadow completely finished that's what the look looked like but obviously everything looks insane and everything looks weird until you've applied mascara and the mascara that I used and love is from the body shop it is the body shop lash hero fiber extension mascara one side is a mascara and the other side is fibers i personally haven't used the fibers today i usually do but i couldn't be bothered it does take me a little bit longer when you apply the fibers um, and then you go over with mascara again i just use the mascara and i personally think that the mascara on its own is still really really good so 
I would recommend this product. It is really, really good. And that is what I used for my lashes. So this is the overall finished look of what I created. I was really happy with this. I feel like it kind of is a little bit different. Like it's playing with different colors. It's not necessarily neutral, but it's not really, really dark. It's kind of in between and it just is nice and smoky. And it's the kind of look that you could try during the day just at home, or you could actually use it and do it as a night out. And I think that's like really nice. I would encourage you to play with colors a little bit more. So go out your comfort zone, try different shades. Even if you don't go for the glitters, try this palette here from Revolution. It's only a tenner and it's really, really nice. and. The quality is amazing. Of Even all of these eyeshadows I used today, the quality is amazing. If they weren't, then I probably wouldn't be using them. And I certainly wouldn't be saying that they're good quality. So yeah, overall loving this look. Hopefully you like it too. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It's not just me being mad. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe for more makeup content on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.